Hi and welcome. Now there may be occasions when you really want to create a new catalogue file. Now in this case let's say it's to keep the training files separate from your personal files. That's not a problem. So how can we do that? Well let's start by opening Photoshop Elements first. So I'll just double click there and we'll just give it a second and it'll open up by default the home screen. Now the home screen opens up and gives you access to a really helpful learning materials and quick access to either the organizer or the editor. Now first let's explore the organizer by clicking on the organizer button. Now by default when you install Photoshop Elements a catalog called My Catalog is created. And you can check which catalog you've got open by looking right down here at the bottom right hand side and you can see it says my catalog so this is the current empty catalog now to keep the lesson files separate from your personal file let's create a new catalog to handle them so here we've got the the organizer open so i'm going to go to file and i'm going to go to manage catalogs in the catalog manager i'm going to click the new button because you can see here that my catalog is the current catalog but I want a separate one. So I'm going to click new and I'll call it uh, PSE training, I mean PSE training files and I'll click OK. The new catalogue is now loaded into the organiser. Now if you just look down this bottom corner again, bottom right hand corner, you'll see it says now I've, I'm in the catalogue PSE training which is the place I want to be and Elements is quite clever and it comes up and says well the first thing you need to do is to start importing some information but at the moment I don't want to do that I just wanted to show you how to create a new catalogue I'm just going to click skip now if I want to get back to the default catalogue or one of the other catalogues I might have created then I go again up to the file menu and manage catalogues but this time all I do is click on the catalogue that I want to change it back to let's imagine it's my catalogue and then I'll click on open and the catalogue now being loaded back in and you'll see if you go back down to this right hand corner we're now back in the catalogue called my catalogue okay that's it how to create your very own new catalogue and now that we've got a new catalogue created specifically to manage the lesson files we're ready to put some photos in it and we're going to do that in the very next video i'll see you then bye for now